welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I set up the classic coffee planner that I bought as my journal and I'm also going to be doing a plan with me in that. So what I did is I used the cover from the journal that I bought. I don't, I didn't really love the guided journal as much as I thought that I was going to do but I did take parts of it to incorporate it into my happy, uh, my classic happy planner. Uh, but I did love this color a lot. I like that it says kind words cost nothing. I love the blue disc, even though they're plastic. I'm a metal girl, but they're pretty. <laughs> so what I did is I kept the inside uh, basically the same. All of this is a uh, classic happy planner with the exception of when you get into the weeks and I had enough of this to do until November. What I did in the weeks was I took the plain sheet of paper that was at the end of the week um, and then I took just the beginning of each week from the journal. The one that's five things I'm loving, one area I'd like to grow in, little things that bring me joy, simple ways I can be kind to others, and intention for this week. I'm really not going to be decorating this. I'm probably just going to be decorating maybe this back page and also um, the week itself. So I'm going to pull these off the disc. This part right here is a little thick because I taped some stuff together. I don't really have a plan in mind. I'm just sort of winging it and we're going to see how it goes. I've been trying to use sticker books that I have purchased and that I have not used a lot of. So today I'm going to be using the Daydreamer sticker book. I'm going to put this underneath for right now. And basically I'm just going to see sort of like where this takes me because I honestly just don't even know. And Daydreamer was meant for the uh, horizontal planner. So I think this is going to be amazing. Let's just take a look through here and see what we have and if anything jumps out at me. All right, maybe we will take and do some sort of like little hexagon design down here. I'm not 100% sure how I want this to all go. And I know that I'm gonna have to white out under here and I will, I'll just lift them up a tiny bit and white out what I need to white out. Alright, I think it looks really cute. Um, let me get my white out and factor knife. So we're just going to white out this little portion here. Alright, and I will cut out the punch in just a bit. And maybe I can find something cute to maybe put in those squares. We'll see. Uh, I think that I'm going to put on Sunday right here. This I just want to read books and take naps. I think that's really cute. Uh, I do need to keep in mind and just remember that this is a journal and that I will need to leave myself space <laughs> to actually journal. So I think I'm actually going to put this up here instead of down below. I just didn't like the way it um, it looked hanging on to that one sticker. So put this right here. Maybe I'll do like another design like up in the top. All right, let me see if there are any more of these before I go and just like start putting them down because I kind of want to another color. I guess I'm gonna have to use this one but maybe if I take that's a lot of teal together then let's take I have a lot of stickers on my finger now let's take this one if I can get it up and replace it with this one. I'm gonna have to put some of this purple back over here though somewhere so let's do another little design like maybe up in here I think it looks cute so I'll figure out a way to bring in some purple over here I love this think happy be happy sticker so I think I wanted to go All right, no, we're gonna hold on to this one for a minute. So I'm gonna stick it over to the side until I figure out where I want it. I know that I do want it. 
try it. Alright, I'm going to put this little teacup right here. Alright, I know, I think I want to use this over here somewhere. Maybe I'll stick this on top of here that says Think Happy, Be Happy. Oh, that other sticker that I want to use says that, so I don't want it on there twice. Like this weekend plans. <clears throat> but let's take this because it would kind of make more sense if the stickers were together. So let's take this and move it up some. So, and then we'll just kind of put this one maybe like, ugh, like right here. I like that. It's really cute. That's really pretty. I kind of want to use that. And I think it could be pretty to layer with this. So, let's take this and put it like right about there. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. It's not 100% straight, but it's straight enough to where I'm okay with it. <laughs> so, um, let's take this little, one of these little bikes. I think they're really cute. I have this sticker which matches everything that I could put in somewhere. And then I also have some more purple here. I have a Frye sticker. Let's see. There's something that I can layer it with. Alright, I'm going to put one of these going stickers over on. Let's see. I'm going to a friend's birthday get together and I can put that in here to document it <clears throat> and use one of these stickers. We have this color in here so I'm going to use this and I'll document that we went to my friend's birthday get together over here. I'm really excited about using this as a journal. I was using that little Clever Fox planner and I loved it. I loved it so much. The only thing is, I'm not gonna use this Friday sticker. The only thing is, is it was a bit too small in terms of like room to write. So I'm gonna try this out. Um, and like I said, I did not really care for the guided journals. So we'll see if this works any better. And let's just go ahead and use these florals because I'm holding on to like random florals and I probably just shouldn't. I should probably just use them. Let's put half like over here. And I'm probably going to cut this a little bit skinnier on one side. So we'll put half on this side. And we'll do the other half on this side, I think. Let's take a look at this other, this back page. I think what I want to do here is maybe use this as like habit tracking. So let's drag out the productivity book and see what kind of habit trackers we got in here. I really wanted to do one of these long ones, I think. I don't know, this page like back here just seems like, maybe I'll just write, use it as like a brain dump or something instead of, yeah, let's do that. Let's just do it like a little brain dump. So we're gonna take this out for now. And I'm gonna use these habit trackers, but I don't want the ones with silver foil on them. Uh, it's not really the color that I need. 
I kind of like this the way that it is though. So maybe for this week I'll just use like a regular, um, a couple of regular habit trackers and then use those, we'll fit those big ones in next time around. These don't really match though. Let's see what I have. I have some of these sticker rolls. So these are the really long ones. I have so much stuff. And such a little tiny place to put it in. I have these, but I don't really like these. They're just kind of blah. Actually, these are smaller, I think. Yeah, these are smaller. I might actually use these. But I sort of ripped that one. So we'll pull off this one. Maybe if I put it over... Like right here. Yeah, we'll put it on here. Because this is all a part of my journal, so why not? And this is like the weekly overview page, so that'll be kind of perfect. And that way I still, I, did, I only cut off like a small little portion of this and just, you know, and that. So I think this is going to do it. Um, please don't hate this video. I know I beg you guys not to hate my videos, but if you're here and you watch every week, I don't think you hate them. So um, I did not intend on this to be a heavily decorated um, thing. So um, I think this is decorated just enough where I have enough room to write something about each day and it's still pretty and it won't make me want to write about it. This I'm going to fill out as intended from the Happy Planner Guided Journal. I may just put some like random thoughts on the back um, or something, I don't know. Um, so we'll see. But that is my journal for this week. Let's put it back on the discs. I have enough of these to go through November. And the Be Happy box is coming out and I don't know if I want it or not to be honest. Like it has a guided journal which I'm not a fan of. Um, the only thing that I really, really, really want from the Be Happy box is the stickers. And I feel really weird about paying $50 for, <laughs> for a pack of stickers. Um, so, I like this. We'll see how it goes and see if I keep up with it. I know that I will um, keep up with the journaling part. This part I'm sort of unsure about in the back page. But thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving me a big thumbs up and also subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.